Mature in here, so you missed it. Let me help you. you never get this collar right, do you? There you go. Shawnee's school had a two hour delay this morning, but not until I waited for the bus for half an hour. I got up and checked the website for the school, and um, it didn't have a delay. And then I didn't see why it would have a delay, but apparently it did have a delay. So now I'm going to be late for work. You hate being late for school, don't you? Yeah. All right. So, as soon as Shawnee gets on the bus, I got to get out of here. <sighs> we'll check back. Hey, everyone. So, Mom is at work right now, and I've been reading for a couple hours. I cannot tear what myself. Are you reading? I was about to say, I'm near, I cannot I'm moderating for you. Like I really can't vlog on my own. I cannot tear myself away from the book I'm reading right now. It's the um, second book in the Hunger Games series, Catching Fire. It's really, really good. The first book, it took me a little bit longer to read until I kind of got into it. But now this one's going really quick, and I'm sure I'll have the third one done soon, too. Which is unusual for me, because I'm not like a super big reader. I mean, I know how to read. <laughs> Up, Eddie. Oh, wow. But I don't really do <laughs> it too much um, for fun. Like uh, in high school and college, I only really read when I had to for school, but now I'm really getting into it. Um, even though Maddie kind of says I'm kind of like a literary baby because I only read like young adult fiction. <laughs> but you're putting words in my mouth. No, Maddie, okay. Here's the thing. Maddie is like my... You have my, a really hard time focusing. Well, that too. On Maddie, words. Maddie is like my literary guru, and she's been kind of coaching me on what books I should read next <laughs> to, attain, uh, to attain, like, literary super status. So, um, what have I read lately, Maddie? Hunger Games. Hunger... No! I read a lot this past summer. Uh, you gave up on the Ron Burgundy book. Okay, yeah, for right now, because I wasn't feeling it. But... I'm going to sit down. Um... I read the Tina Fey book. That was what kind of, like, tipped me into my literary oh, phase. Oh, I do know how to read. Oh, shut up! <laughs> um... Then I read... Um... Oh, what's her name? Mindy K. Min yeah, Mindy Kaling's book. And I also read I Alan Partridge's Alan Partridge's book, and then I read. Oh, there were a lot more in between, but I can't remember. Were there a lot more? Yeah, there were. <laughs> um, oh, I feel like there was another fiction book in there. I don't know. I can't remember. Lucy, no. Lovely bones. Yes, I read Love, The Lovely Bones. Um, I think there were maybe one or two ones that I'm not remembering right now. But yeah, so I'm working on The Hunger Games right now, and I'm really excited because I really like that series. Uh, sorry, I'm like multitasking and watching Lucy because she's eating the curtains. So, what are you up to right now, Maddie? Um... <laughs> I just answered comments on some videos, and now I'm Can I answer the phone? On the Facebook page. <laughs> Wait, let me keep it on you and look who's calling. I'm going to put some pictures up of Lucy so you guys can see. I do not know that number, and the caller ID is weird. Let's All right, pause we'll pause. Second. How rude, da la la, interrupting the vlogging process here. Okay. I feel like my allergies are really bad today. Yeah, me too. My eyes are like <laughs> slowly sinking out of my head, like flowing out through the allergy tears. <laughs> like my allergies always make my eyes watery. Okay, so <laughs> next. Puppy is helping me out here. What are you doing, silly girl? Puppy. And so we go. <laughs> she was making some funny noises earlier. Yeah. Anytime she yawns, she has this habit of going. Ah! 
<laughs> it sounds like she's talking. It's pretty funny. <laughs> but then sometimes she walks around and she's just like... <laughs> Lucy, she's Do you guys know, is secrets. that like um, an indication of like a certain breed? Because mom was thinking maybe she's like part Basenji or something. Because they like make that weird noise. But <laughs> I don't know. And don't she know. definitely... She jumps a lot. She's got the white chest. She's, like, very athletic. The thing, though, she doesn't have the curly tail, and she doesn't have those ears that stick straight up. So maybe she's, like, part Basenji. We don't know. I don't know. But the funniest thing that she does right now, you weren't here yesterday, but you've probably seen her do it, is instead of chasing the ball, like, um, she likes to do that, too. But now her favorite thing is she just sits on the floor and she waits for you to just nudge the ball to her and then she nudges it back and you just go back and forth. <laughs> it's really funny. Um, cause she kind of acts like a cat sometimes. So, But anyway, I'm having to tear myself away from my book right now to do some chores and stuff before I have to leave for work. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. I'm probably going to snack on an apple. Yeah, and we'll check in later. Oh, hello. <laughs> that was so weird. She is actually licking the bone in his mouth before. Not right now, obviously, but he is so totally on board with her. It just, it warms my heart to know that... Because he is a good boy. Yeah, it warms my heart to know that he is so accepting of her because that's one less thing for me to worry about, really. Yeah. So it's lunchtime. I just got home from work about half an hour ago. Sean just got home. Oh, I see you're having avocado on a naan. Yes, I am. Well, I'm having my coffee here, my jar of coffee. <laughs> Is that like jar of hearts? A little bit. Go around leaving grounds. <laughs> see what I did there? Yeah. <laughs> it was bad, I know. I'm sorry. I apologize. I what? What are you, an accountant? Here's a quick look at QuickBook. <laughs> What's the name of that show? Parks and Rec. Parks and Rec. For what? For some reason, the show before it popped into my head. Community. Community. But it's not that. All right. So you're also having some gingerbread tea. Ow. This is for you. Ow! It's hot. I'm having some kimchi, which I am absolutely loving right now. This is so satisfying on a cold day. So while this is hydrating, or rehydrating, I should say, I'm going to have some uh, salad with the leftover Greek salad topping from yesterday on top. Oh, so good. It's so good when you don't mix the lettuce leaves with it. So that, Because you, it would be inedible. You couldn't eat the lettuce after that. It would be all wilty, crummy. But these kinds of pickle with the... Um, with the vinegar. So they're still edible. The cucumbers turn a little half sour pickle like, which is really nice too. And I just put that on top of my salad. I don't have to add any dressing because it's all on there already. So that's good. What are we watching? Uh, what time is Kristen leaving? Uh, soon. No time for Vanderpump Rules. <laughs> You guys can watch it on No, we want to no, save it for you. Watch. I told Maddie the only reason I was into that last time was because I didn't have to go to work. Because you hate yourself? No. no. <laughs> you gotta you gotta hate yourself a little bit to watch that show. It's it's kind of I don't hate freaky. Myself. I I all right. I don't hate myself like when I watched uh, Always Sunny in Philadelphia, but. <sighs> Show makes me feel bad about myself sometimes. I don't even know why. Because I'm way better than those people. <laughs> I think, those are fictional characters. I know. I think 99% of the world is better than those people on that I show. I would so. like to think so. It should make me feel better about myself. But maybe I feel bad that I've laughed at stuff like that. I don't Quit know. Quit and let's eat. Alright, we're eating now. Alright, I'm coming over to vlog this because it is just too adorable for words. But I hope I don't ruin it when they see the camera come out. <laughs> She totally had her head resting on his shoulder. It was just the cutest thing. Oh, there we go. Dog with two heads. Oh, <laughs> baby. Does it ever get any cuter than that? That's pretty darn cute. That is amazing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I we are just so blessed with these two. 
They are just too much. Puppy, you are the best big brother good ever. Boy. I love you. Oh, you're so good. You're he so said, good with Don't your sister. Talk. Just scratch my belly. Oh, I just can't get over how cute they are. Yes, you still you're gonna get plenty of love. You're still the uh Your King Puppy. King Puppy is right. You still have Oh <laughs> look at that, the foot's right there. <laughs> like she's gonna hug him. You still have first rights to lick all dishes, puppy. Boy. She still has to wait. You're number one. He is just too good. I know. Aw my good babies. Boy. All right, guys, it's about that time again. It's 8.24. <laughs> time to start cooking dinner. So I've already started. I have my kale medley here that I steamed in the microwave, and I used some of this uh, beautiful Cat Cora's Kitchen uh, Greek extra virgin olive oil. I love this stuff. It is so flavorful. <sighs> I can see why it's award-winning. The... Um, flavor blend in there it's it's got a lot of different uh, flavor depth and I could see why it's $10.99 for this but I'm glad I only paid $5.99 <laughs> or was it for I think it was $4.99 all right so I put some of that on there I microplane two cloves of garlic in there as well what's, I'm that, gonna, sound? what's that sound that's Maddie singing Sean I um, also I'm gonna put some pesto in there I'm all out of my gluten-free pasta. I didn't realize it. And it's a good thing my shipment is coming this week. Uh, because I'm all out of it. So I'm going to use this Barilla angel hair pasta that I had left over. <sighs> angel hair is nice once in a while. You can eat a lot of it. <laughs> I'm all about the quantity. You can eat a lot of it and it's not as many calories because it's smaller. So it seems like you're eating more, but you're actually eating the same amount. So it's good. I'm also going to add a little bit of uh, purple onion that I have left over from the Greek salad the other night. Not too much because I don't want to overpower the flavor of the garlic, but I want to give it a little bite. And I think that's it. I think uh, Kristen said she wanted some salami on the side that was left over from when we went shopping the other night at Stop and Shop. So I guess we're going to be using that up. My water's almost boiling, so I'm going to get my angel hair pasta in there and then we'll be ready to eat. Ugh. <laughs> ah, best time of the day when I share dinner with my family. Mm. Always the best time. Well, second best. Best time is you coming home from work. Okay. Second best is dinner with the family. Thank you. I wish you guys again had smell o vision. The garlic is just so satisfyingly pungent. I love the smell of garlic. It's just so good. Oh, look at you. You put a little Genoa salami on there. Or is no. it Genoa? I always called it Genoa salami. I think it's Genoa. <laughs> People used to come in when I worked at 7-Eleven because we had a deli in there and I had it sliced cold cuts and they would be like, I want the Genoa salami. I guess they were just ignorant. Yeah. <laughs> good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. You like the kale? Yeah. Kale and garlic and little pesto. Mm -hmm. You might want to sprinkle on some pine nuts, maybe. No, no, it's no, it's okay. Maybe Maddie and I will sprinkle on <coughs> some pine nuts. I tasted the kale um, before it had the pasta in with it, and it was very superb. What do you think about that? The quick clip is stuck on my camera. Oh, all right. Well, we'll figure it out. What you got to say for yourself? I'm not having a fun night. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but do you have anything to say? I don't think so. Well, I do. Guys, you should go over to Frumpy Twins channel and check out um, Best of Mad Rose D17. Yes. You, Frumpy, you are freaking awesome and we're just in awe of you. Thank you so much for making that. I hope it everybody enjoys funny. it. It was very funny. Maddie is prominently featured in it and Big Brother. Gina Marie is prominently featured. Yes, Maddie's Gina Marie is prominently featured in it. And I hope you guys enjoy it. We'll link it in the uh, bottom bar. And do you have a new squirrel video coming up? Well, we'll see if it's usable. But we couldn't do more than one good take because the cats kept going crazy. <laughs> okay. 
You should have just incorporated them into the show. It's hard to not laugh when they're like, ah. <laughs> All right, so if, if it's a usable take, uh, also, you can click right here. There may or may not be a link here, but um, if there is, click here and watch the new What a Squirrel Wants uh, cover. So, uh, thank you very much, girls. Are you Brody girls? No. <laughs> Kristen's got to watch that movie. Mm -hmm. Is it on uh, Netflix? Did you check? I don't know. I didn't check. I'm sure it's on YouTube. It's a very old movie. <laughs> the movie that we're referring to is The Prime of Miss Jean Brody. Probably very freaky. What? On a, yeah, if you're Amazon Prime, you might want to check it out. See if it's on Amazon Prime Instant. Yes, Chrissy. <laughs> we haven't done that in a while, have we? I think I did that a few days ago. Oh, did you? I might have done it as well. The only person who calls me Chrissy is Granny. I used to call you Chrissy. Didn't uh, Yaya oh, yeah, call you Chrissy? Yeah, Chrissy call me Chrissy sometimes. Yeah. I sometimes call you Chrissy, but I call you Bobby Christina. Or just Christina. Oh, so yeah, so just Christina. I don't usually call you Kristen. I unless wanted I'm mom angry. to start doing a nickname with my middle name, but she wouldn't <laughs> take it. You can't just pick a nickname. It doesn't work. It has to be chosen What's for you. What's the point of having a middle name if you're not going to use it? Uh, it's for legal reasons. For important documents. Exactly. Thank you. Enjoy dinner. Did you try it yet? No. Would you? Sure. Excellent. I'm taping a show for you tonight. It's about shafts. Let me know what you think. Make sure you get some kale in there too. Good. Excellent. You make me really nervous with Be that careful, knife. CJ. Yeah. Alright, so obviously ugh, we're having chestnuts roasting in an open microwave. In a closed, a closed microwave. microwave. Yeah. <laughs> I love chestnuts. Me too. I hated them as a kid and now as an adult, well, age wise. <laughs> I love <laughs> I love you chestnuts. All right, so it was a go. The video is live. Maddie's um, what and Kristen's what a squirrel wants. Uh, I hope song. you guys like it. They were practicing for a while, and then Maddie lost his lost. She lost her voice. <laughs> she lost her voice. Kristen got me sick. Yeah. So they've been wanting to record that for a while, but it hasn't happened until tonight. We actually only practiced it for like a day, and then Kristen was being a loser. And then, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, she was all like, I don't want to record it yet. Yeah. And then I got sick. Well, she got sick, then I got sick. And then she had to work. Yeah. So you couldn't do it then. Point of the story. It's finally up. Yes. Please watch it. We'd like, like to know what you think about it. Well, they would. <laughs> I know what I think about it. I think it's really good. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome, and I'm not just saying that because I'm your mother. I know that you would tell us if we sucked. Because you have. <laughs> yeah. That's so true. You should tell your kids that they suck if they suck. Yeah. I agree. You really should. I agree. I mean, unless they're really young, but like... It's never too early to start telling your kids that they suck. Well, if they're like three. Uh, then they turn four and you're like, oh, well. And then they, they don't, before you know it, they're 30 years old and they suck. And they're like, I'm great because my mom said so. Yeah. Yeah. There's a difference between encouraging and telling the truth. And, and lying. Yeah, I guess. You know? You could say, well, honey, you're not there yet. <laughs> but do Don't wave the knife around. No. Don't do this in public. I mean singing. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> but keep trying. Just finish up with that knife yes. so I can, like, not look at it anymore. All right.
I don't know how good these are going to be. They seem a little long in the tooth. Well, that makes me sad. One, this one seems really hard, but we'll give it a shot. I could really go for a smoothie. Yeah. Looking at those bananas and I'm thinking smoothie. Maybe tomorrow. We'll do an extra one each. Yeah, because it's probably Cause I not now. Because I could only eat two of six last night. Well, that's because they were... And one was like a disaster. Yeah. Though, I mean, one of the ones that I ate. I was petrified. Yeah. Well, hopefully these will be better. So I'm going to pop these in the microwave, and we're going to chow down and then watch Vanderpump Rules. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> do that again. <laughs> All right. How about was a Voldemort quite... party? A Voldemort party? No. No. You really forgot already? Pitbull. No. What? Bleh! <laughs> Bleh! <laughs> All right. Close Hope enough. that was entertaining for everyone. <laughs> because Maddie was very amused. All right, Sean, I got something for you to do, buddy. Sean loves it. He loves. Does he? He does love it. Come on, we have to pose first. And then the next time, let's go.